It's Troutman, Tanner English coming to green with qualifying feature number one at the Hornet's Nest. In to turn number one, it's going to be Drake Troutman showing the way. Surely going to try to challenge Tanner English for that second and final transfer spot into tomorrow's feature event. Off of corner number four, how about Troutman, the young 17-year-old, leading him around. He'll lead lap number one. Tanner English down low, Shirley in third. Now Tanner to the inside of Troutman for the lead. They go Hoosier to Hoosier, Hoosier daddy off of corner number four. Tanner English, Tanner English. Last year's runner-up in points takes the lead. Off of corner number four, Shirley takes that second and final transfer spot in the number three S. Shirley digging down low. What a great start to 2023 for him with the Outlaws. Boy, he's had second, but Troutman had a good run. Off of two has another good run. He'll pull alongside him. The kid, Drake Troutman, going for the final transfer spot. Shirley slides up. Troutman, no crossover. Knock, knock, who's there? Shirley trying to keep the door shut. Here comes Fergie down the back straightaway. Troutman on the top side, steps on the brake. Shirley drives away. White flag in the air for Tanner English. The battle for the final transfer is a good one. Shirley hangs on. One lap to go. Troutman gives a shot on the outside. Down the back straightaway. Tanner English leads it off a of corner number four. Tanner English, checkered flag. He's in the big dance tomorrow with the 3S. Of Brian Shirley. Take two, qualifying feature number two, back to green. Into what Bronson with a great start. The killer on the hunt down the back straightaway gets wobbly off of turn number two, and Davenport will capitalize on that mistake. Davenport takes the lead, but Bronson pounds the cushion off of four. Bronson leads lap one. Kyle Bronson with a great run last night, about won that feature. Here comes Kyle Larson. Larson on the top side. Pierce gonna go to his inside. Larson gonna go to the inside of Hughes now. That's the battle for third. Off of turn number four, it's Bronson over Davenport. Top two in the redraw. Bobby Pierce and Larson, no strangers racing on the track. Remember, Larson won the PDC in 21. Pierce right behind him, what a battle that was. They battle it out right now for position on the speedway. Pierce to the inside of Spencer Hughes. Hughes doing a solid job holding him off. Alverson wobbly off a of four. He gets it back going straight. Winger gets around him. Down the back straight away. Man, what a battle. Here is Spencer Hughes holding off Pierce. And oh, Pierce, maybe just a little bit of a kiss on Spencer Hughes' left rear. Pierce upsets the race car, and that allows Larson to drive on by. Larson, Pierce looking to the inside of Spencer Hughes, though. He wants more. Man, Bronson and Davenport checked out here by nearly a straightaway. Pierce had it for a second, but Spencer Hughes holds him off. The Meridian Mississippi racer. We're down in near his neck of the woods, not letting Pierce get on by easily. Pierce has to work for it here. Pierce down to the inside, slider in three and four. Pierce cashes in. Off a of corner number two, this time by. Bronson looks smooth, and how about Kyle Bronson? Second in points, shaved the points lead last night, now only trailing point leader Madden by 10 points. Bronson in the redraw, the killer killing tonight. The 49, Jonathan Davenport comes home in second. He's in the redraw, followed by Bobby Pierce. Overton and Knowles lead us to the green. Here we go. Overton down low, Knowles up high, Knowles up, sets the race car. How about Garrett Smith glued to the bottom? Gets around Gordy Gundaker, almost got two for the price of one, almost got around Knowles. Down the front straightaway, Overton leads in 76. Dylan Knowles will have that second spot. The Alabama racer trying to put the state of Alabama in the redraw here tonight. Driver in his sophomore season with the Outlaws, Gordy Gundaker. Smith now to the inside of Dylan Knowles, and he'll take that second and final transfer spot. Dylan Knowles up into the rough stuff. That's going to cost him. He loses wholesale of positions. And right now, Garrett Smith up to second. Caution is out for Dustin Walker. Back to green here with just 15 laps to go. In a one and two, Overton takes the lead. Gordy slides up the racetrack. Oh, he had a good one. But now Smith going to get around him. Gordy had it. Smith got around him. Here comes Michael Page. Three wide off a of corner number four just for a blink of an eye. Millwood, Page, and Shepard. Shepard goes to the top side in B5. What a streak. And Michael Page now. Washes up the track, and here comes Shepard. Shepard to his inside. They'll go wheel to wheel, and oh, Page makes contact with Millwood. Sends Millwood around, and that is going to draw the yellow. Michael Page heading in there with a full head of steam and just tapped the left rear of the 31 of Tyler Millwood, sending him around. Oh, man.
It's back to green with seven laps to go here at the Hornet's Nest. Gordy Gundaker, way better start, gets in front of Smith. That's exactly what he wanted to do on that last restart, but didn't get the run in one and two. This time he's got it. Gordy Gundaker on a mission. How about Gordy? Gordy, uh, Gordy uh, on the move here in 11. The number 10 to Smith hanging on the third with Shepard. We'll ride along with Brandon Overton here. You see him just so smooth. Last night after a heartbreak at 4.11, had the wrong tire on going into the heat race after a schedule to start in that front row. Had to go to the back. Overton off of four in the redraw for the big money tomorrow. Big Sexy wins it. Gordy Gundaker is in the show tomorrow. Pole position right off the bat for Tanner English. It's big. You know, this place reminds me a lot of my, you know, kind of home track, Clarksville Speedway. Uh, this red dirt, this small, tight bull ring. So, uh, Pretty comfortable here and uh, just glad to bust off a good qualifying lap and start on the front row. And uh, that's what it was all about. So uh, we're happy. Guess what? Your front row, Kyle Bronson, draws the outside pull. I don't know. You know, Carbon really good here. You know, just got to thank all the guys have been helping me. Tanner and Josh have been busting their butt. And Wayne and Charlene give me the best stuff I need to win the race. And like I said, we just got to do our job and, and just go win the races. You know, we've been struggling a little bit, but I feel like we're heading in the right track. We're still not where we need to be at, but I got to give a big thanks to Mark Richards and Integra Shocks, Brian, DJ, all them guys, everybody been helping us and this Clements Automotive Rocket Chassis. And four for Brandon Overton, just coming off of a win here in this 20 lap feature. Uh, way better than I felt the last couple of weeks for sure. Um, the track is different. different. I'm obviously, uh, Way better at this Talladega than I am at the normal normal one. So, uh, yeah, just appreciate all the fans coming out. This is really neat. I've seen so many, you know, superstars walking through the pits. So, uh, yeah, fun weekend. Looking forward to tomorrow. And three for Brian Shirley. Yeah, it's definitely one of those deals with being that first feature is a little trickier than, uh, you know, the second two, especially the third. If you're getting a little bit of a sweet spot there where it wasn't as rough. So, all in all, just glad to get a little better tonight, not have to worry about race and uh, got to thank Bosley's calling Thomason Express Hoker Trucking and six I hope they uh, slow down on the water truck a little bit I don't um, this place is normally not like this and uh, they, they've been trying to work on it you know and uh, make it a better racing for the for the fans and, and for uh, ourselves where we can actually pass so uh, I know they'll they'll do their best uh, I think this is only like the second or third race they've had on the, the new clay and new configuration so uh, um, but, you know, just it is what it is. Everybody's got a race on it. But just uh, thanks to my guys for giving me a pretty good car there. We just uh, come up one spot short. I already know what's in there. It's a five. So you'll roll off fifth tomorrow. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, the, the yellows kind of worked out there. I, I got past Garrett the first time and then screwed up and won and he got me back. So I got to retry at it. But, yeah, you know, just thankful we got the races in. I know it's been a hectic night and just uh, thankful to, to run second, lock ourselves in tomorrow. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a tough 20 laps, so uh, interested to see what tomorrow's like. Just glad to put it in second and lock it in. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.